Hey Vaping Nation, I'm Tyler your host and you're watching Vaping Daily. Today we'll be reviewing the Vamo V3 provided to us by our friends over at esmoke-ksd.com. Let's take a closer look at the mod. You can see the ribbing on the device with the new spiral pattern design milled into it. Let's just take a few longer looks at it before we get into the review. So the Vamo V3 is a variable voltage, variable wattage mod. It sticks with its traditional Vamo 3 button operation. The model we have here has two extension tubes, so you can use your 18650, stacked 18350s, or go into a stealth mod if you'd like to. There is another model out there that has just one long extension tube to use your larger batteries. You have a battery vent on the bottom, it features an OLED screen, you've also got a removable skirt, and then you've got Ego threading as well as 510 threading. You can pick up the V3 in a black chrome or a chrome finish. It uses a brass base material with chrome plating on it. So let's do a quick comparison between the Vamo V2 and the Vamo V3. The first difference you'll see is the finish and design of the device. You've got a milled coil from the top and bottom of the V3. Now that cuts down on your weight and it also cuts down on the fingerprints that stick to the device that the Vamo V2 had a huge issue with. You also are a little bit taller on the V3 compared to the V2, and I think that's because they added that OLED screen and had to fit that little bit of extra in there. Now with the new screen, you gain the OLED, but it's a little bit dimmer compared to the LED screen that the V2 had. My personal preference, I like it. Yours, it might be a con. Now, with that being said, they removed the NO1 feature that the V2 had, so you're strictly NO2 true RMS. Now they added a removable top skirt to the V2. You can take that off and it makes it much easier to maintain your device and clean it, because with the V2 you couldn't even get a Q-tip down there to clean the ego threads or anything like that, or if you dripped liquid down there on accident. You also have removable extension tubes from the head of the device where on the V2 you could only remove it from the bottom. The top tube was fixed on there. The buttons on the V2, V3 are a little bit more firm compared to the V2. Now there is also more than one model of the V3 to where the V2 there is only one. The V3 you've got the one with the two extension tubes and you've also got one with a longer uh, big battery tube, so you only have one tube on the base of this device. Now, there's also only two finishes when it comes to the V3, where the V2 had three. They had the black chrome, the chrome, and the stainless steel. They took away the stainless steel finish for the V3. But all in all, it's still the good old Vamo. Vapes the same, and it's a great little device. I like the looks of this. I wish it didn't have the rhinestones. There is another model out there that doesn't have it. This is the one they sent us. Now I'll rock it. Let's go over the operation of the Vamo V3. To power the device on, you'll press the firing button five times. To adjust your voltage or wattage, you'll press the left button, left or right, to go up and down, and in wattage, you adjust in 0.5 increments. To check your battery life, you'll hold down the left button for three to five seconds. To check your resistance, you'll hold down the right button for three to five seconds. To access your menu options, you'll hold both buttons for 3 to 5 seconds. You can adjust in between voltage or wattage using the left button to file through these menus. You use the right button to go through your selection on the menus. I accidentally exited out, let's get back to it. So you use the right button to cycle through. Now you can change your display to show resistance, battery, voltage, etc. So we'll go through check out LCD on or off. Now this is when you press the firing button the screen does turn on and you can select that and so it does turn off and it doesn't come on when you're firing the device. Voltage adjust in 0.1 increments and to turn this device off you press the firing button five times again. So the Vamo V3 is a great little device I like the new finish. A lot of people I've seen on the internet seem to be deterred from the Vamo V3 because they just don't like the new design. Personally, it's grown on me. I didn't like it when I first saw it. I've owned it for a few days now, been using it. I love it. I like the fact that it doesn't collect fingerprints anymore. I like that it's a little bit lighter. The removable skirt 
is a big thing for me because I maintain and clean my devices daily so it makes it a lot easier to clean compared to my V2 the new crisp buttons are nice they're not they don't seem like they're gonna wear down too easily the removal of NO1 isn't such a big deal to me I don't know if it's gonna be a big deal to you guys but especially for the newbies out there who want to get into a variable voltage mod that feature is not so much needed for them and it's kinda of hard to understand if you haven't been using e for a while so that doesn't seem to be too big of a deal to me I like the fact that you can remove the extension tubes from the head of the device so you can get that longer tube if you so choose instead of buying a whole new device all the changes they've made on it I like they're great I don't see how it takes away from the V2. I think it just adds to it and makes it a better device. The price point on this is awesome. For $58 for the, just the mod itself, you can't beat it. That's about what I've seen going for the pre-orders on the V3. I don't know if it's been released on the market as of yet. This was sent straight from our friends over at eSmokeKSD.com. They're the manufacturers and wholesalers of the Vamos. So overall, the V3, it's a great mod. I'd suggest it to anybody who's trying to get into a variable voltage mod. It's at a great price point. You'll start seeing the V3 show up on retail sites soon since KSD finally released it. Their back order pretty good right now because it's been a hard time for them getting the chips. Thanks again to our friends over at esmoke-ksd.com for providing this product for our review. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Keep on vaping.